What's up, Amis? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean, and I'm going to be unboxing my BTS album that literally just came in as of today that I filmed this. So, I have literally no idea what to expect except for, of course, you know, the whole photo card thing and obviously like a um, photo book of the album, the CD. Other than that, I mean, gonna be in for a surprise. So, probably gonna let to get through. Let's get into it. What's pretty surprising is the box is pretty weighted. So yeah, let's see what's inside. <laughs> okay, one side open. Okay, now the tricky part to smooth as ever, smooth as always. <laughs> oh, interesting. It's uh, two separate products. Huh, all right. Okay, so let's try to pull this out all together. Turn it a little bit. All right. There we go. <laughs> okay, box, you can go down. All righty. So here we have one. And then here we have two. I mean, they look the exact same so <laughs> lord knows what the differences are yeah i mean the only indication of any kind of versions we got were like the personalized rooms 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 of the concept photos slash videos i don't know let's just keep unboxing so the front has b and then you can't really tell but there's the um Oh, like the chorus part that's kind of engraved on the front, and then the spine has B, and then the BTS logo. And yeah, everything else is very simplistic white. So I do very carefully get rid of the plastic. I'm really, I'm really trying to think, you know, what could be the differences, but I really don't know. <laughs> okay, one plastic off. I think it's gonna be a slide job. <laughs> Have you been? <laughs> Ah, I see. It opens like this. Interesting. Okay, so here we have the booklet. Like so. The making book. If I can get a grip on it. Oh, I see. Photocard stuff. <laughs> the making book. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's so much to pick up of like little bits and pieces. So there's a lot of like little bits and pieces of paper to look at. So we've got this, which just shows mirrors and reflection. Ah, now I remember. There's a mirror version and then there's a reflection version. I knew, okay, yeah, that took me a moment. So, uh, so this is probably gonna be mirror version then. It is pretty. sky interesting and wood and leaves <laughs> a uh, lantern light broken mirror interesting Jungi's painting I actually watched the live stream that he did for this it's kind of funny when watching that live stream he was totally unbothered by like the little like accidental bits of paint that he didn't initially want there, but he was just like, eh, not that big of a deal. <laughs> okay, so now we've got like smaller cards. This one, and on the card it just says "Life Goes On." Jin, I love Jin's room. It is so pretty, and on the back it says "B." I just, I love Jin's room. The Hyung, 
<laughs> this cute little smile. Again, it says B, and I just realized that it probably will say B in their own handwriting. <laughs> He's so adorable, this Yoongi. Then B on the back, Jungkook, Hobie, J Hope. Also love J Hope's room. Jimin, love. Okay, I love all their rooms, but the rooms that stand out to me the most are definitely Jin's, Jimin's, Hobie's. I guess also Yoongi's. There's Munjun. And a group shot. Okay. So as far as, I guess those are meant to be the photo cards. So you pretty much get OT7 plus two group shot ones. So that's really nice. So now we got making book. may have the same kind of spine design as in the TXT's um, Miniso Blue Hour album, like the um, like attachment of the making book was very very easy to tear off, meaning that it probably was meant to be that way. So yeah, anyways, we got this. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> Taking a photo of a shoe. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the this is the image that Yoongi was like um, smiling fondly at with um, his review video. I mean, how can you not look at that face without a fond look? Like, whole bunch of writing, which looks like lyric behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> Even though I can't read any of it. Oh no, this is like a tiny bit of English here. <laughs> but this one. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. Picking up the lens for their sleepy Jimin. Like an echo in the forest. <laughs> and uh, more lyric stuff. It's very interesting how this would look. Again, that looks really cool. Picking up the lens for for the flash. It's funny how a lot of these images have a very like Polaroid, like old school to them. That's really cute that it says, stay, I'll be wherever you stay. And then that's how that ends. Okay, so now let's take a look at the bulk of the package. <laughs> the photo book. Ooh, interesting, it has a uh, translucent film opening to it. And on the bottom it says, let me fly to my room, get me out of my blues, and now I'm feeling brand new. Black and white of a headshot. Okay, but like... Yeah, but that... <laughs> looks like he has green eyes. Got Jim. Oof. I, I'll keep saying I love his room design. Like, I myself personally love crystals and have a major affinity for them. So his room definitely speaks to me on a very personal interest level. Junk Cookie. I say Junk Cookie even though he's one of them. It's a nickname. <laughs> it's kind of funny how Junk Cookie has like the most almost grungy look to it. Like a very um, underground secret rapper room look to it. Oof. By BTS, Fires Record, Jimin. Oof. <laughs> so pretty, and I love 
this room. I like that image a lot. Just an accident moment. <laughs> Armies will never let that go. Looking kind of serious. <laughs> it's interesting how this camera is a very strong, consistent staple piece. Staple piece, yeah. Words. I've got Yungi. Very strong, cool tone blue tones. <laughs> His room kind of gives you the vibe that you're like underwater, which fits because he's a Pisces. <laughs> so him. But so he really loves violins. I mean, how can you not love violins? Violins are beautiful. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh <laughs> Them eating, big surprise. <laughs> oh this group shot, which is like the group shot. We've got credits. Okay. And then that, that part ends on the back, and then we have this side, which the first part showed off their rooms. So what is this side going to show? Life goes on like an arrow, like an echo in the forest, like an arrow in the sky. And we've got a group shot again, and again, judging by how each page is stuck together, it has that tearoutable effect to it. And yeah, it's pretty much just like. Bonus images, really. The packaging design of this is quite interesting. Oh, that's really cool. I find it really cool. The angle, the concept of that shot, the power of reflection. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Okay, this duality. Ready? From this, and it's already tearing out. Oh, that's just great. Do that. <laughs> Looking very uh, suave here. Oh, it looks terrible. Well, uh, not really sad, more of just curious, I guess. It's pretty much all these photos are in black and white. But at the end of the world, the present trying to get through wherever you are. Ugh, the pages just keep tearing off. I know you'll always stay, every night and day, I know you'll always stay. Okay, so each page has like little snippets of lyrics in it. Sometimes you get to know how broken is beautiful. I really like that line. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> on my pillow, on my turbo, life goes on like this again. And then a very badass looking <laughs> group photo of like completely different outfits. <laughs> Whoa, burst of red much? <laughs> okay, in this specific one, it looks like so intimidating. <laughs> All right, and that is the end of that photo book. Interesting. Ah, here we go. Okay. Ah, here it is. The CD. With an image of them. Nice. A few more bits and pieces to pull out here. Okay, so we got the tracklist book. Or poster? <laughs> what? <laughs> A tracklist poster. Huh. That's interesting. It's kind of funny how in my room now I'm going to have this mix of like timeless black and white contrasting super colourful TXT posters. Ah, uh, and then we have thanks to messages. Which will be a fun time to try and translate I guess. And they're all pretty lengthy too, so yay. I mean I can imagine that it's thanks to the team each other, the fans, and I guess their mindset during this whole production. Something like that. And then we have poster. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Poster. <laughs> it's so funny. I just I can't help but find the humor and the contrast between this poster and the colouring, which is very like neutral tones versus the TXT poses. Very colorful. Interesting. Very nice. Okay, so that is now definitely everything from the first package, which I think this one is definitely meant to be a uh, mirror version. Which means the next one will be reflection version. <laughs> I've actually got light in my room now in my head. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty much the exact same thing, which is 
I don't know, a little odd. Like you would kind of think that with it being mirror version and reflection version that there would be slightly slight, slight differences, but no, it doesn't look like it. It's not disappointing. It's just unexpected. Hey, I mean, if that's the case, then I can pretty much just give one of these to my mum, maybe. It's oddly confusing me because, like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> so that's everything. I will worry about packing it all back together later. So, what did I think? <laughs> As if it was being wrapped into a music video. I think it's really nice. Very, like, timeless, simplistic, a bit old school. And very, just different. Very neutral tones and, like, neutral vibes. I don't know, it's kind of... Ugh, hard to put a definite word or description on what it gives me because the whole idea of this project is to kind of reflect them as who they are or as how they perceive themselves or at the very least how they want to be perceived in this day and age in the time of their career and yeah i think just the whole vibe of this is very like simplistic timeless and Pretty much that. <laughs> so I love that I kind of pretty much have my own mini version of Yungi's painting, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any other thoughts on this entire package. I really, really liked everything. It's my first ever BTS album, like in hand album package. So I'm definitely excited about that. And I really, really like everything. And I mean, I always say this anyways on my channel, but anything BTS related, I will always love. So I think that pretty much wraps up this unboxing for the BTS B album. Still a little confused on why the two different like album packages were basically the exact same content. But I mean, that just is the way it is. There's a chance that it may have been like a packaging error, but I don't know. I can just need to give one of them to my mum because she is definitely, definitely on me as well. So anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing with me and let me know in the comments below what you thought of this because I mean, you can't really say what photo cards you got because they're pretty much going to feel the same. So what you thought of the album, if you like the styling of it or if it's not really a thing, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, so if you like this video, hit the like button below. Comment below what you thought of this video, what you thought of the album, what you thought of the songs, and anything else that you wanna comment below, go right ahead. Check out my previous video, the link right here. If you want to subscribe, there's a link right here. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on and set it to all. That way you won't miss an upload from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I know you guys see ya.